SEGA Right out! Moving to cover! There we go. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helian tonight along with... I have some mighty lieutenant on a care. At your service, you little gits. 
and welcome to Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2 Retribution. Again, a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> and yeah, since we finished up with uh, Chaos Rising last time, we are moving on to the, th uh, yeah, to the second and last DLC slash expansion for... Uh, yeah, I think it's, yeah, this was more that it was called an expansion, not DLC. So, yeah, the, exp the second expansion for Dawn of War 2, which is, well, Retribution. Named after, well, <laughs> I'm guessing partially the ship that you the pilot, that you have in uh, Chaos Rising, but also for the fact that, well, this is going to put a, an end to the story that started in... Well, I guess technically it started in Chaos Rising, but that was a continuation of the base game. But I've blabbered on enough. Uh, uh, hey, this shit is still active in that this game. Yeah, there is 284 people online with multiplayer or last stand. I don't know. Yeah, there you, we can pop this open, and then there's yeah, 40, 43 people around apparently. I'm guessing in a somewhat local area, but let's close that off. <clears throat> okay. I, I'll have to just try the multiplayer sometime. I think it is very similar-ish to uh, the original Dawn of War you know, gameplay with, on that, or to a degree, but I've, I've never touched it myself because I've never had anyone to play it with. And uh, yeah, this is the thing with uh, Retribution. When we start a new campaign, uh, uh, da, da, da. Hmm. Let's give this a look just to see if it's anything interesting in here. Oop. Hello, Jonah. Back. Melee and range combat. Range units attack from a distance with guns or psychic energy. Melee units close on a target and attack with swords, claws, or fists. Units engaged in melee cannot use ranged attacks. Captain Angelos, you know as well as I that this is folly. We are in desperate need of reinforcement. We have no choice but to press on, Jonah. I shall not abandon this place again. What few allies we have already know of our task. We can wait for them no longer. I would never suggest retreat, but I can feel his power. The warp screams all around us. Worse. His forces beset our battle brothers on all fronts. It is all they can do to hold their position. Then it falls to you and I, Librarian. We descend into the crater. Okay, I'm not sure if I've ever touched this before. Because, well, I played the other games before. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so... <laughs> something new for me as well yet more pathetic rabble seek to bar our path then on our path they shall die to the attack <laughs> okay right click to attack it's been the same like this from the base game no it's much difference the, the big differences will come after we're done here and we get to well select the campaign okay i'll just Issue an attack move. It the looks like in the UI and all. Uh, yeah. Now we have resources over here and a unit cap. Or Captain, if these foes close upon me with their blades, it will be all I can do to defend myself in melee. While so engaged, I will be unable to strike any foe at range. Worry not, librarian. If it is melee combat they seek, I and my hammer shall grant their wish. Okay, I do like that they... In part, it is just a basic... Uh, this, <laughs> if this happens, that uh, does basically explanation stuff, but they do word it a bit nice. <laughs> nicer than others. And at least they are not poking fun at the fourth wall with it, which... Yeah. If, if, if Warhammer did that, it'd be weird. <laughs> Oh dear. I did probably explain what happened in the law stream. Or apparently, I'm suspecting that the, the damn elf has intentionally attacked most of our range units just to prevent them the from shooting. Us from that yeah. No gap may protect them from my powers. I shall smash their minds and bodies from afar. How about 
it does look like we have it. I suggested uh, a while back if they were to re do a new to the war game, you know, I mean, out of war game, they should borrow aspects from this one, uh, from the Dawn of War 2 and 1. From what I it looks like they might have. They may be doing what I was suggested in this expansion. Hmm. I'm forgetting the specifics, but I think it is mostly still there based in. No shortage of heretics to slow our advance. A delay we cannot afford. Be there dozens or hundreds, the abilities of a space marine shall scatter them all. Uh, actually, now I remember. Yeah, this this, this game plays a bit like an in between of the two. All right. Not completely, though. Like, I don't think there is base building, but we will be able to get other... Oh, hello, Terminators. I thought for a moment some enemies were jumping in behind us. Okay. Yellow for allies, and oh, hello, that's... But, yeah, now that I remember, we won't be able to build bases. It'll still be limited to... Uh, <clears throat> to uh, outposts and, and beacons and such, but, okay, did not expect it would do that, but we will be able to call in extra forces. This kind of, well, no way, it kind of makes sense. Okay, also I like that this now shows the AO, uh, the, the actual range of the AOE. Also, just rush through those, please. Yeah, are people liking this one, or am I wrong? Mm -hmm. Not too sure what I've heard. I don't think I've heard things too differently from the from the base game and such. But it could be that they were getting piled together or something. Like there are there are things about this about this game that I do like, but there are some that I like less. Not that it makes it a lesser game compared to the others. Uh, but still. Also, how do you like your new orientation? He is there. I Captain like it. Andros. We part ways here, Jonah Orion. Lend support to our brothers. Hold back the tide of chaos. These many decades have been an honor, Gabriel. Commend my service to the Emperor. Emperor, keep you, librarian. I go now to redeem our chapter. All the blood ravens! <laughs> Tiny little correction <laughs> in his passing there. Okay, I never actually played that. And yeah, here is the first big choice that we get to make because we get to select a faction. We have the Chaos Marines not waste my time. with Elephas, who's back yet a fucking N, the Tyranids. The Elder. We have the Space Marines. Glory and victory. <laughs> we will play as them eventually, but not yet. We also have see me through this. the Imperial Guards, which will have some returning phases as well. Hmm. Maybe, I'll, maybe I can be convinced to play this faction as well, even though, uh, yeah, basically, we're not... We're not... Ugh. We're not selecting a campaign, we're selecting a faction to go through the campaign with. As in, all six of these factions will go through the same missions, uh, with the same objectives, or mostly the same objectives, I believe. There might be slight differences in there, uh, but the story overall will be mostly the same, except for, well, who is going through it and how they react and bullshit amongst each other with it. <laughs> and yeah, There's we'll be going... <laughs> We'll be going with the orcs. Oh, oh, I see which orc we are going. We're not going just with any orcs. <laughs> yeah, we're going with orc freebooters. Uh, are a band of pirates and mercenaries interested in looting and pillaging riches from anyone who crosses their path. Like all orcs, the freebooters seek combat for the, short, yeah, for the sheer enjoyment of the battle as well as material gain. They are led by Captain Bloodflag. <laughs> That's cut your blood flock to you. 
that was not even correct accent. I, I joked with a friend. I, 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 I maybe should dare myself to try and cope the accent through the entire stream, but I doubt I can. Very much doubt. <laughs> But yeah, we'll be going through the you know, we'll be going through the campaign with the orcs first, and after we're done with them, we'll finish off the story with the blood ravens since we started this with them. Oh dear. Also, I see a correction to make immediately there. <laughs> and let's go with easy, just for the fact that we so we don't get ourselves stuck at any points or so. And well, since we're going through the game multiple times, this will also save us an overall more time going through it. Because even though things will be somewhat different, the missions will stay the same. So if I were to play this multiple times, I would I, I would seriously burn myself out on that. Ten years ago, we Blood Ravens destroyed the demon Alcair, ending his schemes to rot Subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the Scepter. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets, Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard, the Hammer of the Emperor, was deployed en masse to the Scepter, to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number, and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the guards' ranks. Now the sector sits helpless, racked by constant, endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Ariah Kairos, our chapter master and chief librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers, brothers unaware of the chapter master's secret allegiance to Alcair. A corrupt space marine chapter master, a militia crippled by disorder and turmoil, demons, renegades, a sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus cleansing every planet of the Sector of Life. Xenos and human, corrupt and innocent. All is not yet lost, however. Adrastia, Inquisitor of the Ordo Hereticus, has entered the fray. She knows the truth of Kairos's heresy, but has not the power to halt the coming storm, short of destroying the traitor herself. With the authority to combat the enemies of man by nearly any means, she is gathering any force she can muster. Allies among forces still loyal to the Imperium, and even enemies with a common interest of preserving the Sector, if only for future war. We can only hope she finds suitable allies, but hope is of course the first step down the road to disappointment. And that's a librarian line that we've heard plenty of times. Oh dear. New text? Yep. Managing resources. You can earn and spend three types of resources. Requisition, power, and population capacity. These are displayed respectively above your control panel in the lower right of the screen. Move your mouse over a purchasable, a purchasable unit or upgrade to see what resources it will cost. Sork me, what happened? Mr. Nailbrain, status reporter. Status reporter's busted, Captain. Best guess the cruiser's been shot down into that jungly planet. Typhon, I think they calls it. Yikes! Destroy the orcs. We cannot tolerate their interloping. Hans, 
Blessing Eldar! I'll cramp you good! More pointy <laughs> elements for me trophy rack! <laughs> Orcs over all! Don't fancy tarts close. I can feel, sir. Young Master Spookum should be around here somewheres, too. <laughs> He's not one to miss the stomping. Let's find him. Oh, and snick in the Eldar you find on the way. On me way. Yeah, this is going to be uh, something, huh? Oh, my captain! Let's get trumping! <laughs> Yeah, we start with Captain Bloodflag, who has an ability similar to the, the rally cry or battle cry of the Force Commander. Wait. Did he just bonk one? I just realized... You're Captain Bloodflag and I'm the... Mr. Nailbrain. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, what, what would a war boss be without his mech, huh? A mech with some <laughs> grenades to throw around. <laughs> I think, please tell me we still get the two quick our units. Or yep. heroes, at least. Yes. The war gear remains. Oh, there he is. I fought a sneak and get it be harder to find. Give him a kick and wake him up. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a ton of fun. Did you really get duffed by these pansy gits, or are you just sleeping on the job? Oh, that hurts me feelings, Captain. I'll never get duffed by pansies. Maybe you should snazz up your armor there. It's embarrassing. I guess you're okay, yeah, we can upgrade them. There. And let's see. 650. And 877, okay. This actually makes there we go. Paste or paste? <laughs> paste. <laughs> no, the other would fit as well. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, boys. Back to work. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know uh, TVTropes.com? Oh, oh, don't just let him shoot you like that! Get behind that mess over there! No, 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 no. Yeah, it's not a show, it's a site that <laughs> catalogs uh, tropes and such. And it has, typically for games and media, it has a, a page for funny moments and such. Uh, well, about a third of the Dawn of War... <laughs> Page is just these bunch. Oh, good God. I, I meant see you seen it, but not watched it. Yeah, okay. I know it's a sign. <laughs> you showed me the even a few times. Yeah. <laughs> Do screen share. <clears throat> okay, one just got flapping there. Also, yeah, just keep in mind that Eldar already are like six, seven feet tall and such, and these orcs are towering over each of them. Oh, I get what you're doing. Okay, moving on. But I can do an accent if I go private or the accent. <laughs> Oi, stand that base over there! We can call in some boys! Okay, yeah, the beacon locations. These are, well, the same, but basically a look different for each faction. Because while we're orcs, we're just going to put up something, or something orky. I want that. <laughs> and yeah, for the orcs, of course, it's just a banner. <laughs> okay, step aside. Now, 
We can, yeah, we can uh, call in some boys, as he said, one squad. Uh, to the turret work boys, first basic work, you uh, know, yeah. Work, uh, yeah. The first and the best part of the war is a good old mob of boys. Bad at darker, but great at stomping. <laughs> In the middle of a fight, their kit can be customized with all sorts of gobbins to make them more killing. Yep, yeah, like we can equip them with shooters or <laughs> burners. So. Dagaba <laughs> it is then. Trumpet, trumpet, bashin, trumpet. Who's next? Duh! It gets out some kind of fancy shooters up there. Let's demonstrate some brutal cunning and go round. <laughs> yeah, or orcs are often thought of as stupid, but they are not that dumb. Well, a lot of them are stupid, but at least they're not this stupid. Or at least the ones that survive. Yeah, and they have two mentality: brutal, a cunning, or cunning but brutal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like blood flag sad. Yet uh that's missing from the teacher of the god, Cook and Mook. Normally they don't know who teaches who at times. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> First thought after a fight is to loot the bodies, huh? Okay. No. Male brains, get back. Yeah. Kind of funny here is like, I have seen him many times loot and pillage and use human tech and all that, but I haven't really seen him much do that with all the alien, other tech of other alien races. And it tends to explode. Hey, some local boys are poking around. Oi, use not. Use part of my crew now. Problems with that, you talk to the complaints department. That's <laughs> good, by the way. <laughs> uh, of course. I'm so glad we did the walks. Yeah. It's, it, it's a nice change of pace. Okay, this is one difference in that uh, typically these orcs would be hostile. I'm pretty sure of that. Okay. You la ah, I need to refill you. Okay. Uh, one thing with these extra units that we can order, if I recall correctly, if they die, we get refunded, basically. Okay. And look, we saved this for you, yeah? And yeah, here we go with the <laughs> with the loot. Good orc armor. <laughs> Preskin screams. Come on, you kids. Okay, let's get some more resources for upgrades and such. Okay. And then we can push through here. I just should have okay. given you a good for this well. Yeah, that, that would have taken a bit too long, but yeah. You mean I, I, I guess you could just call cost? me Captain. Captain Blood Flag. <laughs> okay, here we're going to get some explanation on some negative armor, I believe. Or not. Okay, get to it. Now, since this, since this uh, is sold separately as well, of course, the game is going to, well, give reminders of everything. And it's always nice to have refreshers. And yeah, reinforcement, yeah, reinforcing of, of uh, standards or extra units can only be done at reinforcement structures, like the beacons. Okay, Spookums catch up. Okay. Oh, I can, wait, I have no ketchup here. No. 
But yes, Bookums is our infiltrator, as he can do that. Okay, first off though... Okay, and everyone rush in whilst those are flying. No one I hope we can do. Hmm? Do you mean the heroes? Yeah, we can't do that. Oh. Okay. Where you want the only way to get it. Get the capturing, get the looting. Boy now. I'll blow it up. <laughs> Some looter boys with their death going to be nice. They can really dacker and make the barons all slow and suppressed. Okay, we fill you lots, and yeah, we got the heavy Good units, job, uh, heavy gunner units. Of course, the Eldar will probably be coming after us even harder now. Not that that's a bad thing. Okay, there's a few more to grab here. Smash it. And let's see. Yeah, we don't, we've reached the population cap, so we can't call in any more. Yeah, we really? can get weird boys, but we need... We need a specialization for that. Come on, smash it. Wait, where are the units? Hmm. Over here. Oh, no, I mean, where are the actual units? Oh, does yeah, it look like 25 people here? Yeah, it's, it, it's how much population they take up, not <laughs> if they take up that much. Not that there are that many of them. Okay. okay, I don't remember if any of these offer our extras or something. Well, yeah, for now, they're just going to throw some Elder at us. Get to those quick. And yeah, this is also good for breaking suppression. The other side again. Okay. Blood flag stands in the way in case they get close. Can we get an upgrade for you? Don't think so. <laughs> Even Elder corpses are pretty, but <laughs> I missed a bit of what he said there. Okay, nail brains, grenades, blood flag. You don't have a charge. <laughs> hmm. We lost two boys, but we got two more. Looks like they've run out of gates for us to stop. Let's go find some more. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Boy, get your fly. All right. I think we got all of the resources. I hope we can upgrade that population thingy. I'm pretty sure we can eventually. Okay, so this is counted differently. I'm think I'm guessing half slash half remembering that we can probably get vehicles from strongholds as well. But we need to first unlock access to them. Alright. Okay, how many can I fit in here? Okay, at least four. And yeah, since we're early on, we do need to be more a bit more strategic again, since we can't overpower our enemies just through sheer firepower like we could at the end with the previous game, <clears throat> with Chaos Rising and the base game. Oop. Bonk! <laughs> Again. 
Okay. Out all of you. Okay, get that. I don't know if I don't know if the resources that get dropped are random or predetermined. <clears throat> but in general, I believe if you just look around, you should find plenty of them. And yeah, these are a lot more limited than what you can summon from them. Or that's one specifically, maybe, because, well, first level. Okay, so this stuff, hmm, that also counts as strongholds. Okay. Oh, uh, well, moving on. For the brothers and sisters you have killed, I shall erase you from existence. Oi, Twiggy, what do all your boys and a smashed up jammy paste have in common? Come here, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, freaking chorus. Also, this character may look a bit uh, familiar. Ooh. Yeah, she looks like the one from the selection screen. Yep, and that's because you'll, we'll end up fighting the other factions as we go. Oh, dear. Ooh, get out of the way, you. And how can I get this myself? I don't remember if this game has co-op or not, but if it were, Okay, I like the extra bits that the voice actors are adding in. <laughs> We've got guts and they're getting all over the place here. <laughs> did not mean to you out, I meant to select you. Okay, put an end to the witch. There we go. Your victory is hollow, Orc. You shall be washed away in the coming storm. You should have had more of your skinny boys this morning if you were gonna shoot down my cruiser. No, look at ya. Why, I'm gonna. Um, Captain. Not now, Mr. Nailbrain. I'm still sassin this Tom of Eldar. Captain, you know I wouldn't normally, but there's a matter that's big here. Pressing and heavily armed, Captain. Parley. What the bleeding saga? Oh. Captain Bloodflag. You have made quite a name for yourself looting the petty lords of this subsector. You have also been known as a mercenary under their employ. I? What's that to you? Oh, you're catting your boys here. You're one of those inquisitive type thingies. I thought yous were more for killing orcs than paying them. I like your hat, by the way. I am here to offer you a business proposition. There is a man, a space marine, I would like you to kill. Chapter Master Kairos of the Blood Ravens. Perhaps you are familiar with him? I don't know one of those humies from another. But Space Marines is dead hard. Why do you want him? Because if he isn't eliminated, this entire subsector will be obliterated. Then who will you loot, Captain? And who will you fight? Obliteration, eh? Can't say that'd be good for me and me boys. What's in it for old Blood Flag, eh? Giving you money is pointless. Giving you technology is obviously out of the question. But I can give you a fight. Three Imperial regiments, a battlefield of your choosing. Hmm. Throw in that hat, and you got a deal! Suddenly not, Greenskin! No hat, no deal! Kill your own posh humies and leave the orcs out of it! I's got more point to your gits to stomp for blasting me ship out the void anyways! Huh. You do not really think that the Eldar shot your ship down, do you, Captain? 
You twiggy thing! You think you can sword an ox cruiser and walk away? I'll stomp you posh, you me all right. Then I'll make you wish you never heard of Captain Blood Flag! <laughs> I think the elder's still alive, she's moving. <laughs> <laughs> and I just get that... tricked into yeah. so helping them. Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Well, maybe not tricked, but more dared. I need to test this fighting use. And yeah, I think that pretty much uh, sets the tone for how this game is going to be with the orcs. Uh, okay, sorry if I was a little bit too loud there. <laughs> yeah, it got uh, it got capped down, I think. Uh, let's see, good orc armor, level 2, 17 plus health. And see, now this is better armor, <laughs> better than enough armor anyways. And apparently it doesn't Are show we... the fighting juice. <laughs> We're gonna love the flavor text on these ones. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I'm half tempted to go through all campaigns now, or all factions, to see w just the uh, <clears throat> the flavor text and everything. And yeah, this is another different thing here. We can choose between some rewards. We've got a good burner. And da -da -da, can be used by Nailbrain, Spookum, and another one who we haven't found yet. Good for burning runs out of their hidey holes. The Orc Boys squad. Uh, we can get the Nomb Leader for them. The Nomb Leader is a hulking brute that increases the slug of squad's, you know, squad's durability and melee damage, grants the recklessness ability, which allows their squ <coughs> the squad to break suppression. And we, so yeah, we get we can choose between war gear, an upgrade, or elite infantry to be unlocked. This is what we have available right here now. Uh, let's see, Storm Boys. Assault troops equipped with jump packs, good at closing quickly and forcing ranging it into melee combat, can get improved rocket packs, which allow the use of Booma Boys or Bomber Boys, can also be upgraded with a knob leader. Let's see, let's... Back. That's how you say it. <laughs> Two figurines all round, you lot. Oh, breakfast is back. What I miss. Why is the captain all grim? Captain, I reckon that you and me got your blood up with blasting a ship and all, but stopping a space marine, boss. They don't come much harder than that. Couldn't you have got a bit more looted scrap out of it? Them Inquisition humans can't be trusted any further than they can be thrown. Which in that one's case might be a bad example. She's just trying to blast us no matter what kind of deals we come to. This now is all in the same truck. That's coming days, Captain. So now we can crash the truck. Uh, right. There's a reason he's called Brickfist. It's because <laughs> it's probably the smartest thing about him because his head is yeah. paint. <laughs> As a BRB, I need to make some sandwiches. Yes, I wish okay. you had. Okay. Let's see. Fighting Juice grants the Fighting Juice ability, heals orcs and boosts their ability, allowing them to keep fighting. Okay, so the stimulant pack from the previous games. I'm pretty sure all of this. I'm pretty sure all factions will start with something similar like that. And I, <clears throat> all factions also have their four units. Each of them generally falls into similar things, like they have their commander, which is a big broody. Maybe not brutey all the time, but they, a big strong melee fighter. Then they have uh, their t <laughs> their tactical elements, which in this case is Mr. Nailbrains, the general grenadier and tank and such. They ha generally have a stealth unit as well, which is Spookums in this case. <laughs> and also, well... Their melee specialist, which is Brickfist in this case. <laughs> well, for a second I thought I misnamed him there as Brickfist <laughs> something else. Okay. And yeah, the biggest difference between this game and the previous is can be seen here in the skill points. As in, 
it's just straight up upgrades each time instead of just in between bits that you need to fill in to get from the, between the traits. So yeah, it's also now been lessened to stamina, offense and will instead of having offense split into melee and <clears throat> ranged. It's now just all the same. And let's see. With Blood Flag, we get getting stuck in with the boys. Blood Flag heals himself and nearby allies every time he uses an ability. Spiky armor gains bonus armor, and enemies that attack him in melee take damage. Get to the walk. Allied squads around Blood Flag periodically reinforce as more orcs come to join the walk. The biggest increase health. Big Wog increases Blood Flag's healing. Squads around him reinforce more often, and Wog has a chance to call in additional but temporary orcs. Okay. And on offense, we have Stomp. Knock. Okay, that's an, an AoE attack. Shoot him good. Blood Flag's Twin Linked Shooter now deals more damage and knocks units back. Deep Breath. Blood Flag takes in a deep breath, sucking enemy units towards him. His putrid breath weakens their defenses. <laughs> Okay, I'm real good seven. Welcome back. Uh, real Thank good you. seven. Increase blood flags damage. Additionally, his melee attacks increase the damage of all nearby allies. And big stomp. You can jump a short distance, dealing large damage around the point of impact. Uh, here we go. A short lift, but significant speed of a boost of speed that knocks back units around blood flag. Biden Spirit increase, increase energy. Additionally, Wog causes Orcs to regain energy. Scallywags teleports in a bunch of <laughs> mutinous Scallywags onto the battlefield. Who knows who they side with? Okay. Uh, heavyweights. Here we go. Stuns enemies in addition to knocking them back. Uh, that's, the, <clears throat> that's the sprint. And Mega Walk reduces the energy cost and recharge time of Blood Flag's abilities, including global abilities. Okay. Hmm. I say we go for this here. So he has more health. No, no he, he heals whenever he uses an ability, and he gets another ability to actually heal with. Okay. As for the equipment, <laughs> can opener, <laughs> power claw. Okay, basically the orc version of a power fist. So there we go. Oh, I'm no, pretty you sure feel like he's... a pirate, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he has that shooter always. No matter what we equip on him, unless it's something. Actually, I don't know if he can use ranged weapons. Uh, let's also get this armor on him. <laughs> and of course, that. We also have Lucky Thief. On kill, restore health to nearby allies. Okay. And, of course, there is a commander item. Which, in this case, is the <laughs> super flashy boss rack. <laughs> Suppression resistance and increased health for nearby allies. Terrifies nearby enemies, reducing their damage. Not as potent as a trophy rack or boss pole on their own. This is the flashiest boss rack the boys ever <laughs> have ever seen. <laughs> Oh dear. Wait, wait, what? Does it have a flavor tag for the fighting use? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Nothing gets an orc ready to fight. It's better than a jug of fungus beer. Use squaws in a small radius and boost their fighting ability. Let's also take a look at these. Uh, energy regeneration, which is always good on a unit that's going to be using a lot of powers. Uh, this claw makes squishing tanks as easy as squishing the gits inside of them. <laughs> And the, the angry armor uh, stops the damage, but not the pain. That way, uh, you get the good and mad. <laughs> you know, that way, you can get good and mad about feeling all them hurts, while no uh, lovely scars to go with them. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Nailbrains. Uh, let's see, beamy death gun. Okay, let's give that to you. Of course. A bit of armor. He has... Well, he can't use these. Can only be used by Blood Flag. Okay. Hmm. I don't think he has anything here that gives him another accessory slot. So maybe we move this to someone else. Uh, let's see. This <clears throat> this thing is shiny and sparking. It's all mine. And if I find the orc... Uh, if I... <laughs> 
I'm going to mess up so many times with this. And if uh, even I uh, find an orc what can grow nas uh, uh, nas teeth like this, I'd be getting even, even more of <laughs> them. <laughs> okay, nail brains, <laughs> you get the stimulant. Let's have a look. Aim away from face and towards wagons and cans. <laughs> uh, Nav orc armor. It's better than nothing, I think. Of course. Uh, let's see. Nail brains, custom force field. Turn on the sparkly shield that this absorbs damage by draining energy. Thicker armor, more health. If he's not deployed, looted tanks gain this bonus. That's something that we'll get... <clears throat> That's something we'll probably get introduced to uh, in one of the next missions. Also, uh, I think you'll find where I found your helmets. Oh, I know you said long ago. <laughs> what do you, uh, do you think I asked about if I was nail, uh, nail brain? <laughs> Okay, cyborgs. Mr. Nailbrain improves the speed of repair and can fix uh, inventory. Patch him up. Vehicles slowly but automatically repair. This ability works even if Mr. Nailbrain is not deployed. And super tough beam. Make a friendly unit invulnerable. Additionally, improve the custom force field such that it generates a field that knocks back enemy units. Okay. Electric armor. Mr. Nailbrain's crazy gadgets generate a considerable electrical field, randomly damaging nearby enemies. Heavy gun specialist. Uh, Mr. Nailbrain's no longer has to set up or tear down heavy weaponry. If he is not deployed, loot us again this bonus. Static discharge. Slowly build up static discharge. The longer the wait, the greater the damage and the area of effect. Being attacked or using ability generates extra charges. Okay. Really good shooting. Increases damage. If he is not deployed, Death Dreads gain this bonus. Mega Rumbla. Make the earth shake, knocks down, and stuns all enemies around him. Casting abilities triggers a small quake, disabling nearby infantry. Okay. And then we have Teleporter. Teleport to a location. Enemies attacking Mr. Nilbrin in melee have a chance to be teleported away. Okay. Uh, Dead are <laughs> dead art counts. When destroyed, allied vehicles get a second chance, reactivating with low health. This ability works even if Mr. Nail Brains is not deployed. Okay, these not deployed abilities are probably going to be really useful. And let's see, bigger pockets. Mr. Nail Brain can equip an additional accessory. If not deployed, increase the health, damage, and speed of the honor guard that replace him. Yeah, we'll get about what honor guards are in a bit. Master Tinkerer lowers the energy cost and recharge times of Mr. Nilbrain's abilities. When Wog is active, they are further decreased. Okay, I'm a bit unsure as to which of these to actually go for. Hmm. hmm. I'm thinking actually we go down offense for a bit. And if I remember correctly, like in the previous games, we are not going to be able to max all of these out. So we have to be a bit selective with them. Okay, Spookums, you have Conditioning. Spookums move faster and take less damage while Infiltrate is active. Spookums drains less energy if not moving while Infiltrated. If he is not deployed, Ludas no longer need to be set up to Infiltrate and can move while it is active. Uh, special present. Spookums is able to equip an additional accessory and if allied heroes are knocked out, a remote bomb can be detonated at their location. <laughs> Okay, kick them while they're down. Uh, good hiding Holy. spot. Increases health, and while in cover, he will slowly regain health. If he is not deployed, all orcs will heal over time while in cover. Okay, that would be really good. And target and dummy. Call out an orc boy that will taunt enemies into attacking him. Okay. Darker specialist. Spookums against an ability with each weapon type he can equip. Uh, real good shooting. Increases damage. If he is not deployed, Ludas gain this bonus. Catch this. Spookum throws extra bombs when using abilities and will occasionally toss excess bombs he brought along with him. <laughs> Surprise shooting. Spookum has a chance to deal bonus damage and stun infantry. The chance is 100% if fully concealed or Wong is active. If he is not deployed, Ludas gain this bonus. And 
bag of bombs. <laughs> Toss any equipped stick, stun, or burn a bombs in a circle around spookums. If they are not equipped, good luck. <laughs> okay, now no I'm curious what way. would happen if he does not have any of those equipped. Hmm. Th that would actually go well along with this one, since that would give him three slots. And, well, there are three types of bombs, at least. Hmm. Uh, ready for anything? Well, infiltrate is active. Spookum's abilities recharge much faster. Uh, longer lasting. Uh, increases energy. If not deployed, increase the health, damage, and speed of the honor guards. Grappling hook. Pulls Spookum's towards the target location, knocking back and damaging enemies he passes through. Additionally, he instantly resurrects units from a distance, pulling him them towards him. That would be really good as well. Uh... <laughs> Even more ready. Uh, Spookum's further uh, reduces recharge times while infiltrated. If he is not deployed, the Weird Boy has his ability recharge times lowered. And swap sees. Spookums can trade places with any allied orc. Additionally, when knocked out, he will teleport to a conscious allied hero. Okay. I th I I'm curious what about this one. What sort of shenaniganery he can get up to with this. Let's see, high explosive shells, because he has a shotgun of a sorts at the moment. A special shooter. The special shooter is generally used for special assignments that require the commando to get close to his target. Yeah, shotgun. Commandos exhibit great enthusiasm at the prospect of using them, as they have the bonus, yeah, bonus side effect of automatically painting their face red on successful use. <laughs> Good God. And last but not least, we have Brickface who has Frenzy. Using abilities causes Brickface to regain health and take less damage for a duration. Brickface heals whenever he... Uh, getting stuck in. Heals whenever he attacks units in melee. If he is not deployed, Orc Boys gain this bonus. Center of Attention. Whenever finishing a jump, Brickface will be targeted by nearby enemies. Hmm. Big and bad, increase health. If he is not deployed, Orc Boys gain this bonus. Ardor than Ards. Regenerates full health while in combat and further improves the health he regains from Frenzy. Okay. Stab. Stab a target, dealing damage. Disempowered units take bonus damage. Okay. Good stabbing. Increases brick first damage. If he is not deployed, Storm Boys gain this bonus. Medicine, Brickfist's pre brick presence demoralizes enemies, slowly suppressing them. Okay, that would be really good for well, a storm boy since he's getting stuck in the middle <coughs> with you. Something, something. <laughs> Stone skin, Brickfist gains knockback immunity. If he is not deployed, storm boys are temporarily invulnerable after jumping. Evieta. Uh, add stun to all of breakfast default or unlocked abilities. Smash him. Adds damage and knockback in an area to his land uh, jump landings. Non-stop stomping. Increases energy if he has not deployed storm boys and storm knobs have their ability recharge time lowered. Blast jump pack. Increases jump range and adds an explosion on takeoff, knocking back and damaging nearby enemies. Okay. Bigger pockets, additional accessory, if not deployed, increase the health and etc. of the honor guards. The biggest jump increases the height of his jump, drastically improving damage and area of effect, as well as reducing his ability recharge times temporarily. Okay. And you get... Uh, actually, let's check out the basic one. Uh, it has no description. Too bad. Good Uts Chopper. It was a great orc who took a chopper and put an engine on it, or in it. <laughs> I'm actually a bit unsure as to what to go for with him here. But they are melee focused. All oh, right, we have offense and not the melee and uh, range anymore. Now, let's actually go with health to uh, increase the survivability at least. Okay. And with that, we can get started. Land and Temple Ruins. Another puny army of gits in the way to our teleporters. Right, boys, let's zog them quick. To all officers and regiments that may be receiving, we're through with Imperial Command. If we have to fight, we're gonna do it for ourselves from now on. 
You want to call that defection? Fine. We were dead men anyway. At least the cults promised something in return. This region is ours now. We see anyone, anyone within a mile of here, we'll bury them in ordnance. Don't doubt we can either. The regiment's holy armor isn't that particular about the holiness of them that drives it. Okay. Get to the teleporter or teleporter. Destroy the targeting cogitators to override turrets. And we'll be able to choose between these three. A weird boy, storm boy squads, or another hammer. Or actually a, an actual hammer this time, not a, an, an axe. Uh, Wait, let's see. What do we pick last time? Uh, we, <clears throat> we took the storm boys. Let's see. Right. I think these will reappear eventually or certainly these will reappear later it's not like we get locked out i think but we'll have to see about that now intelligence garrison troops many enemy squads are fortified inside durable structures grenades sniper and flame type weapons are effective counters to garrison squads some enemy squad some enemy squads wield heavy weapons like last cannons auto cannons and heavy bolters tie these squads up in melee combat or flank them to keep them clear of their firing arc Okay. Watch your mini map. <clears throat> Primary objectives, secondary objectives, and capturable points are all displayed on the mini map, as well as indicators. Oh, oh come on! Uh, oh, this is for ranked only. I hope. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> okay. That's a first. But yeah, I noticed that. Oh. The Steam thing it says disconnected now. First one there gets the best loot. You won't speak. Okay, let's see. Now we can actually upgrade our characters right here and now if we'd so like. Hmm. So we can improve health, energy, or damage. Let's see. It just a 35% boost during the duration of the mission. I think for now we can leave that be. Wait, 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 wait. You're missing hmm? loot. Or oh, is that loot up there? Yeah, it's, uh, it's nothing up there. Also, oh, the right, camera so is... Glue is nothing up there. All right. It doesn't have a health bar, though. I'm not seeing a health bar on it. Hello. Oh, I think you know what I saw. If he's a power thing, you a big one, you need to up up there. It's about to look like a generator. Yeah, I think that's it. So you should take it. Now I can't interact with it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Attack move here. And I remember this mission. It is a pretty fun one. Intruders! Oh hell, we've been found! Alright, you fiends. I don't care who you are. Feel the might of the bean blade! What the Yeah, that's a bit uh Yeah. Boys, we don't got enough DACA to soak that human wagon! Leg it! <laughs> Look, see him moving. Didn't bring the right toys for that ball! It's the damnation! We can't get through here! Find another path! <laughs> well, <laughs> nice knowing your nail brains. <laughs> Okay, we can pay to revive, and as you can see, the longer we wait, uh, the less it costs. But let's just get him up and walking again. And yeah, they just get uh, revived at the nearest HQ. I mean, that's okay. a thing for boys, but worth it. Protect those targeting cogitators. The turrets could go haywire if a cogitator is destroyed. Oh. That's why you can interact with it. Yep. <laughs> no, 
And yeah, that turns them friendly to us. I'm not sure how that works, but if, I guess if the orcs believe it enough. Okay, yeah, shotguns are good for popping the boxes. Okay, everyone attack move to the other side. Now we've got oh, some I just armor on. But you hmm? just had done uh, for nail brains. <laughs> what? I'm firing my laser! Yeah, he's firing plenty of lasers. Okay, no brains get a bit closer and throw a grenade out. Okay, there are differences between each faction's units, like, I don't think the second in command of most. Um, actually, I think. The second in command of some factions can use heavy weapons as well. Hmm. Ah, Open fire. Yeah, better run. Because we're going to get chased by this thing through the entire mission. I mean, Rampos loot! Mm. Yeah. Okay, keep moving. Apparently, <laughs> I forgot to make an attack move. Oh uh, well. Stomp him. <laughs> okay. Someone capture that, and someone capture that. And we'll hope that the Bane Blade doesn't get this way. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't think there's really much of a need to get units at the moment. I think our heroes should be enough to get through all of this. Hopefully. <laughs> But I did mention that we need uh, more firepower. Come on, get, get, get stick stomping, you idiots. This, this the override uh, oh, we overrode them. <laughs> yep. Let's see, large power boost over there. Uh, yeah, let's get that way. Okay, Mr. Nailbrain is looking uh, interesting. He's he's looking outright sparkling. Dude, oh, there's a bang blade. And yeah, for people not in the know, bane blades are basically. Uh, the ultimate tank in this place outside of well titans and such so thank you for that you yeah dude the only there's a new primoris tank that is bigger than the bane blade and it's levitating <laughs> of course this is a gravity tank but i don't know the name of it nope, nope. Oh, this is a weird lore, because I think people are trying to figure out where the heck it came from, so people question if it's true or not, or what, but... It has to mention that the Bingley was meant as a scouting tank. Yeah, that, that's a rumor that's been... Okay, that was quite an explosive shell. That's a, a rumor that started at some point, but to my knowledge, and from a reputable source, there is from <clears throat> there is no actual evidence for that. Yeah. 
Oh. So, so people are wondering where the heck it started. Yeah, perhaps a joke honest. or someone uh, trolling. Yeah, or a misunderstanding. Let's, or, see. let's face it, the damn thing is a, it's a fortress on wheels. Basically. <laughs> like, you, you don't put like 11 guns on a scout. You put a big, strong engine on a scout. Yeah, it actually so big. It has its own bunk beds room and all that. Okay, get rid of that thing. Yes, people. People eat and sleep in the damn tank. <laughs> Thank you. That was hence, a bit I didn't actually know. Yeah, hence where I've just called it a fortress on wheels is rather freaking term. Oh, no brain's got a level. And one of the converted turrets got absolutely nuked there. Okay. Nail brains, focus that thing down. Actually. Thank you. Visit. But yeah, I think you can see, see that, how big it is compared to the humans. Yeah, and even the orcs, which are already even bigger. Now it makes sense it does have its own bunk beds and all. Yeah. You. Get that and it has freaking artillery. Get moving, nail brains. All right, all right, I'm moving, I'm moving. A round of explosive buckshot through the windows. Okay. Mm. Okay, I was kind of hoping that that would clear out both buildings, but apparently that can only work on one at a time. Okay. Come on, get it. There we go. Okay. Uh, nail brains. Yep. 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 <laughs> Just as it gets destroyed. Okay. Spookums, catch it up, please. Okay. Hmm. If I recall, one thing that is a bit of a drawback with this game is that with it having so many uh, factions and so many characters that the the fourth character typically tends to be a bit of a third wheel, as in they get a lot less attention than the other three. Oh. Now, I don't remember if that's with all factions or just uh, some of them. You, they're over there, and destroy that. Okay, rest of you join in. But, yeah. The fact that each uh, faction only has four characters as well means that no, sing no characters will get benched, like, through a lot of uh, the base game and Chaos Rising. Wait, it's kind of good. Let's see, this ball strikes the medium three rounds. Okay, knocking them back and causing them to bleed. Okay. And I've messed up another bunch of turrets, even a big one. A heavy turret. <laughs> okay. Now yeah, you can heal while you walk, so walk. Walk the plank. <laughs> okay, we can guess what's going to happen here. Uh, there we go. I was about to say someone's late. Okay, good thing that we cleared this out before. Nail brains, grenades. 
can do, but it can actually chase us now. So we should probably get to moving. What do you mean we can't pursue any further? We can't let them get away. They can't escape. Never mind. Yeah, what you were saying? Okay, so they can just come almost right down. up the stairs. Like, yes, they can. Probably it's It'll probably wouldn't... crumble. Yeah, and it would basically ruin any pathway for the others to use. Okay, that might have been a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit soon with calling him to retreat. Okay, but he's our stealth expert, so he's the most fragile of the bunch. We just have to come crawling back once he's over there. Okay, get over here. Actually, I could have used this, which is now always an energy thing and not a consumable. I didn't use. Yep. Blood flag, they're right next to you. Yep, yep. Are you trying to fare up close? Also, hello. I'll be taking that. Spookum's got a level. I see somebody can get capture. Yeah, you should pull back a bit. Knock that guy out of his position, will you? Level up. Nope, Plague Marines. Okay. Tear down that oversized chicken. Good shooter. Right, I'll be taking that. Would the Inquisitor try to ask the Tyranids for help? Mm, no. Hmm. I don't think I actually ever got far in the Tyranid campaign. Hmm. I'm getting more and more tempted to try out the other campaigns now as well. Yeah. Mm. Maybe, maybe not only one go. Yeah, maybe with a bit more <clears throat> time between. Definitely with time between, yes. <laughs> okay, that, that explosive round is basically just a, <laughs> a <clears throat> an underbarrel grenade. Ooh. Nail brains. Pull out the booze. Booze and time! Yeah, this poker is, you might want to move away. Okay, it does have quite a long look. Uh, it, it does have quite a long re mm, recharge. Yep. Okay, I, I misclicked there. Well, he's protected uh, now. Blood Flag getting his KFC. Or KFG, Kentucky Fried Guardsman. Actually, no, that, that's what the burners are for. Okay. Now, we can push through here. Any more? Oops. There they are! This is it, you maggots! We'll bury you here! I think I that voice. And it's right in the path of where we're going, so... We might want to hurry? Oh! He's going to send him straight into there. Yep. Blood flag, move. Ow. Okay, go the other way. Go the other way. <laughs> Charging straight at a Bane Blade is basically <laughs> a death sentence. And these are yeah, yeah, stormtroopers. Uh, oh, loot, 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 loot. Where yeah. is the, is, is the, there, 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 there. We may, we may need this to give temporary upgrades or something. Uh, yeah, we should probably get to that. Actually, this is where we can use the exo squad as a distraction. 
that as well, yeah? And okay, we can get each of these. Mad Brains, evict them. You get going there quick. Uh, let's see. Need more records. Yeah, they are. Units are pretty pricey. Okay, rest of you, cause chaos. That's what you're good at. <laughs> run, Brick Fist, run! <laughs> okay, as long as this thing goes down, we should be good. Yeah, they're not managing to scratch him. And yeah, as powerful as a blade blade is, if it's outnumbered and surrounded. Is up and running, boss. Is it then? Tested it then, have you? Well, Captain, we's low on crops, but I'm sure it's fine, though. Hawk says. After you, then, Mr. Nailbrain. I have no idea if that means it works. Oh well, here we go! <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh. But Org Lifestyle is basically flying by the seat of their pants, if they even have them, all the time, basically. Oh god! Uh oh, tank monster bomb! Let's see. Medium ranged explosive weapon that can be used to destroy vehicles. Okay, and we got some more loot. Burna. Good for burning grunts. We have got something similar like that already. Uh, good shooter gets the job done, but the boys is all one gonna be wondering why you brought a shooter to a chopper fight. <laughs> and lots of rocket launcher. Uh, the trick is to just shoot lots of rockets at uh, what you want to kill. At least one should hit. <laughs> at least one will shut it. I'm not um... even going to attempt the accent. <laughs> Australian now, eh? Wait, did I just go Australian? Apparently. Or Canadian, <laughs> I'm sure now. Let's see. Let's go for the weird boy. Testing seems to show that this air teleporter can take us to planet called Darius. Oh, um, I, yeah. That be the dusty one, Captain. Looks like we need to find some more teleporters on those planets to go any further. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how we're going to get around this time. Teleporters and such. Let's see. Nail brains get something new. Uh, let's give you another point in that. So you no longer have to set up. Spookums. Let's see. Recharts. I think I'm thinking about getting grappling hook for him to basically use him as a support unit most of the time. Then again, he is a bit of a grenadier as well, and he gets up closer than nail brains. So let's take those off, give him to Spookums so he can try and emulate Cyrus. Let's see. Yeah, let's keep going that way for the moment. I think if we focus with our tanks for the most part... Can you give uh, a burner? Yeah, we can give him one if we want. Hmm. Area of fact ignores that cover and ignores garrison. Let's see. Wait, didn't we I have one already I earlier? I, I didn't expect it to be part of a Storm Boys arsenal. <laughs> Uh, let's see... What to work you towards? Never attacks in melee, but with the burner he won't. Uh, let's just go give you a bit of offense as well. And let's see, nail brains. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's see. Area of effect, knockback, accurate against vehicles. Uh, otherwise, 5% accurate. I I think this is the more orky weapon than a <laughs> than a death gun, since well it doesn't it's not loud enough. And uh, tank buster bomb. Let's also give that to you. So maybe it would be better for you. Hmm. Yeah, let's give that to Brick Fist. <clears throat> Pardon? Oh dear. <laughs> and yeah, I think we can stay or we can keep the can opener on him. I don't know. I think with each faction you start with a few purples. I don't know where that is from. It might be just from the base uh, of this, the base game of this, well, game. Uh, might be from something else. I don't remember. I don't think I bought any DLC for this game or anything like that. Okay. And yeah, next mission. Since this is well, there are no. Actually, I don't remember if there are side quests or not. But the story of this is a lot more linear, I believe. So, Argus Settlements. Attention! All Blood Ravens of Strike Force Omega in the Argus District. The Ascendant fears investigation and pursuit by those who are less enlightened. He wishes to ensure that all traces of his passing on Calderas are eliminated. As such, Argus Settlement is to be raised to the ground. Success will ensure his pursuer's trail shall grow cold and his great plans realized. What are these posthumies figuring? Burn in the place for we can get a looting! They ruin the best bits! Boys, for we zap out with a teleporter, we gonna stomp these humies and then loot and burn the place proper! Whoa! <laughs> of course they're going to do it because they want to do it instead. Uh, hello, weird boys. Yeah, we can get an upgrade for them. Okay. And it, it, okay, it looks like the the war gear will get changed each time, but the upgrade or these unlocks or upgrades for squads and such are going to stick around for a bit. Uh, let's see. Bring anti-vehicle weaponry, Space Marines fuel some of the toughest vehicles and armor in the galaxy. No, oh. We already have the can opener. We have the rocket launcher. And we have Brick Fist with Wait, the tank buster. We have, a bit, we have armor we can give. Oh, right. Uh, let's see. Let's give that to you. Since you're going to be up... <laughs> well, you're going to get up close and everything. Your job is to stay out of sight. So, yeah, Spookums is going to be uh, left out for a bit. And, yeah, we can still scrap stuff if we want to for experience or and other rewards, apparently. Okay. Okay, and that will repeat itself again if we click on it. Overwatch will allow you to automatically reinforce and build squads. To activate over uh, uh, reinforcement Overwatch, right-click on the Reinforce button. The squad will automatically reinforce when close to a forward base or a stronghold. To activate Production Overwatch, right-click on the squads you want to produce. It will be produced anytime the production queue is empty and you can afford it. Okay, I, <laughs> I was thinking about a completely different kind of Overwatch. <clears throat> nice. Oi! Snap that teleporter platform, boys! It's big enough to call in the biggest boys and wagons we've got! Okay, I'm, yes, I'm guessing these can some, uh, can call down the vehicles. Oi! Oh, smash! Mm -hmm. Okay, and we yes. immediately get a truck. What rock? Let's see, we have 30 left. Let's get a weird boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, now we can. A, a power boot, of course. <laughs> okay, any more loot? No, then we go shoot. Then get loot. 
Sergeant Lysandros be advised. Enemy forces have been detected inside the settlement. Do not deviate from your mission. Our priority is to demolish every last structure in this miserable village. Let's show that you make some green! You want me? Okay, here we go. And yeah, if we were playing as the Blood Ravens, then the objective would be to, well, prevent this destruction, but, well, the orcs don't give a crap. Oh, yeah, so the sort of mission will have different reasons to do them. Yeah. It's definitely important to replay through to the other campaigns, but they have the different reasons to doing the missions, which would be interesting story perspective-wise. Yeah. Okay. Keep moving. It won't be too much difference between each, I believe. Like, the overall gameplay will still be mostly the same. Just go destroy all of these assholes. Just with the Blood yeah. Ravens, we'd have a, a, a soft time limit, I believe. Not too sure. It's been quite a while since I last played... <clears throat> well, through any campaign of this game. Of course, the ones in the car are complaining about getting bored. Okay, grenade. Okay. Nail brains, get to it. The biggest nasties. Nothing beats a looter with a beamy death gun. Well, set maybe a good power claw. <laughs> like you have. <laughs> and there it goes. Okay. Shooters here. Get it, boys. Power. Wait, it's me that we can get ourselves a weird boy, I think. Yep. Okay. I think you can, hmm. can recruit uh, one more Smash unit, it. but uh, probably better to wait, I guess. Let's see. Storm, nah, not Storm Boys. We could get some Orc Boys. All right. Yeah, let's. Okay. You want me? And yeah, we just pushed through the other side. Okay, you get some guns. And yeah. It, there's a lot of there's a lot of simplification in this game, but it really works. The vehicles can smash through walls. Okay. Like we we can yeah, we can get heavy infantry or heavy gunning with infantry and then upgrade them to be specifically anti-vehicle. Nail brains hit that. Wookums, grenade that. You. <laughs> Crashes in the. Anti vehicle squads are a serious threat and threat to your vehicles. Yeah. Uh, you jump in over here. Uh, oh. <laughs> Everyone's stuck behind the freaking truck. Okay, jump in there and give them a light. Like, Nail Brains doesn't need a light since he's chewing on a bolt instead of a cigar. <laughs> Don't know if that's actually a bit of censorship or not. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't remember if... I don't remember if he was chewing on a cigar normally or if it was changed to a, a bolt or something later. Again, I can't say, and there goes the truck. He, 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 he has a pipe. Yeah, so you can't really see it like this, but I'm pretty sure he was chewing on a bolt earlier instead of a <laughs> something like that. 
I think he turned a bolt into a smoking pipe. That could work as well, I guess. <laughs> You go pester them. Also, I think... Did, did you actually in the early call him Snail Brain? Maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make things weird over there, please. <laughs> yeah, of, co of course he completely misses. Uh, but then again, that's half the fun with Weird Boys, huh? Like, it's like a 50-50% chance if uh, he'll actually work his magic or he'll just blow up. Okay. Oh. Here, Sergeant Lysander has come in. We have come under fire. Our mission has been compromised. Stay calm, young brothers. I will deploy heavy support. It will arrive in moments and crush these worms. Nope. And I, ge I guess we now know what happened to some of those recruits that were kidnapped. Oh, Dreadnought. Bomb it. <laughs> oh, so much for that. <laughs> Thank you for opening the way. Also, these things are supposed to be artillery. They're not supposed to be anywhere near. <laughs> okay, get the stomping. Set these to auto reinforce when possible. Uh, I don't think the flamer is really doing that much here. Ace Marine it's HQ. Yeah, it's over here. That's what we need to destroy. Okay, yeah, pop this thing. Yep. Oh, pop there it. Got, Not the captain. <laughs> and it is our main objective here. Oh, we can recruit more units. Oh, oh, okay. Supply nodes increases your population capacity. Okay, it, it didn't oh. actually tell of that. So <laughs> that completely went. By. I completely missed that. Okay, set your point here and just send in a bunch. Wait, where's the truck? Yeah, the truck got blown up. You really need a, a truck. I guess that's too late. The board vomits. What? Okay. Oh, and the weird boy's out of control. Okay, did, what, did one of them say Yumi kill? That's five points. It's <laughs> still <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, loot us, destroy that, and yeah, we can just we can just revive units manually for no cost, I believe. There we go. Now everyone just attack and get rid of that thing. Also, you lot move forwards. And uh, uh, there goes Pukums. Okay. Yes. Mm, a fight against vehicles doesn't say anything about buildings. Do. Ow. Oh, Terminators, okay. Okay, well, we bought a can opener, might as well use it. Crush, crush. Mm. 
enemy. You. You are too late. The Ascendant will be triumphant. Not that the orcs care. Let's see. Turrets can now, turrets can now be constructed from a global ability bar. They suppress infantry with a heavy limited firing arc. Okay. So basically, we have deployable turrets now that we can call down. I presume. Luck, sadly, no war gear. Oh. So yeah, they we were too late. All the loot was already looted. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Cold Truck's Arm. I'll, I'll probably read these out since <clears throat> it prob we, pro we probably won't see too many repeaters here. Let's see. Big Mac Cold Truck, uh, down on planet Darthlands 1, <laughs> made this here kit. Uh, there was free proper... Uh, th 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 there was free proper orc uh, camps there. I, I think they was called Boondock, Clunker, and Attaboy. Wearing his armor, Cold Truck doffed up a lot of them. Okay, three <laughs> proper orky camps. <laughs> uh, let's see. Increase the Weird Boy's health and grants the Over There ability. Now that it says what that is. And improved jump packs or rocket kits. Uh, improved jump range and unlocks Bomba uh, Boy's abilities, which sends one of the Storm Boys loaded with explosives to their death amongst the amidst the enemy. I think we know what we're going to do. Oh no! We've got all new kinds of boys and wagons now. I was figuring if I leave Mr. Nailbrain and you knobs here, there'll be lots of room for lots more boys. <laughs> And yeah, that's just unlocked the honor guard system. Yep, no new loot, but we can spend another skill point. Let's see. I think I'll continue down this lane and make blood flag a tank. Nail brains. Um, I'm not too sure how well it'll be for him to get damage. It, it's. We're at least not sure about this here, since he's supposed to be at the back. So he's, unless this is a, <clears throat> unless this is a target ability, it's not going to be that useful, I think. Let's, but let's keep him up that lane at least. Spookums. Uh, yeah, extra bombs. Breakfast. Get back to chopping. Uh, yeah, Spookums can use that. What is your special with that? <laughs> Hot mess. Ignite a large area in flames, dealing fire damage over time to infantry. Okay, so oh. probably allied infantry as well. Oh, yeah, then. Mm. We... Oh, wait, we had two. Oh, oh. Okay, so we do have optional missions. It even says they're optional. Yep. Let's have a look. Maybe do oh, optional. Loss. Have a look at what I found. Could be some good bits in it for us. And remember, use those shiny bridges, cause they bring good luck. If there's an ambush, be at the supply depot it will. Don't let the enemy reach the supply depot. And protect the trucks. I don't care how many of your kids get smashed. I'm sending some boys ahead to loot and make sure there's no ambush. Send cans and then send boys. All kinds of boys. Okay, there's a rival boar boss in the area. And let's see, we can get access to dev dreads. <laughs> an orc in an armored can, deadly in melee and short range combat. And uh, yeah, primary targets are a group of war trucks. Be prepared to quickly take out passing vehicles. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should be good with that. Hey, okay. you're gonna do weapon? Uh, Is that a no, it's not a claw. 
Oh no, wait, there's a be me. Yeah, the be me and the shooter. Uh, though we don't, I don't think anyone wants that or well, can use it. Okay, only Mr. Nailbrain. Uh, let's see. Okay, I, yeah, that's, I think that's what he had before. Okay. Well, let's go harass some other orcs. And yeah, now we can select, or now we can uh, decide to leave any of our main heroes behind and instead bring along an honor guard. And, well, also these, when they are not, the, <clears throat> here's where in the uh, abilities that, when not deployed, come into effect. Uh, yeah, looters no longer have to set up or tear down heavy weaponry. Increased damage dealt by looters. Okay, and each of them also gives more population capacity at the start. And yeah. If we don't take nail brains, we get a custom death dread. If we don't take spookums, we get a commando knob squad. If we don't take brick fist, we get a meaner knob squad. Okay, I don't know exactly when it would be better to take any of those, but for now. Uh, let me check. Spookums, what do you have? Hmm. I think we can leave Spookums behind for this uh, for this instance. Since he is not really well equipped at all. Let's see. Face the danger. Some squads and turrets only attack enemies they face. To set the units facing, first right click and hold on their destination. Then drag the mouse in the in a direction you wish that unit to face and release. To build a turret, first left click where you want to build the turret, then move your mouse and left click where you want the turret to face. Drive slower, you break me bitch, he says. You know, forget to drive on the shiny bridges for good luck. Listen up, kids! Warboss Smutsface says there will be fighting ahead, and we need to get our key to the war! So just be sure to get enough trucks past the supply station for the war! Warboss smash face? Would you expect anything else? Okay, boys! Let's not hit those wagons just yet! We shall use that supply station for a proper ambush! Oh dear, he's gonna grow a grab something. <laughs> okay. If I remember correctly, this uh, map can be a bit of a nuisance. Also, let's have a look here. Orcs earn Wog by killing, fighting, uh, and dying. As they earn more Wog, the Wog meter fills up. Spend your Wog points on your Orcs' global abilities. So yeah, we need 100 Wog to get <clears throat> to get an Orc turret. Okay. Ignore those and keep moving. Okay. Should have plenty of time to finish this up. Especially since we started early. What? No brains got shot. <laughs> Uh, what do you say, the hill? Yeah, it's, it's just saying that nail brains got down. Okay. Oh. It's a plant booby trap. Okay, left click the place, left click the, you know, the, left click the bomb to detonate. Okay, that would actually be pretty useful. Okay, keep moving. I'll destroy these bales to trade a rock slide. <laughs> a bit late on that game. Yeah, I think you can... Yeah, you can target these barrels as well. Yep, yep. Um... Well, he's off to his own planet. His people need him. I don't know what the hell keeps causing those little freakouts, but... <laughs> They're hilarious, Eater Ray. Come on, you kids. Okay. Loot. 
Yeah, loot and power. So you grab that. Oh, hello. Oh, can. Nope, we got a can opener. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Keep moving on, because we need to be over here, and then we need to stop those trucks from getting paused so we can loot them. And yeah, we're 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 facing the the, the makings of a walkie with how many of them are passing by. Disrupt those. Oh wait, I I forgot to remove the grenades from Spookums. Oh well. Oh for love of all hell. Yeah, that's that's becoming our running theme. How do I just forget the freaking grenades? Okay. Capture that. And use the corpse. Big lost interest. Small adjustment. Okay. Can we heal up by standing near this thing? Okay, no, it's it's not it doesn't count as a reinforcement building, okay. Hmm. Okay, we just gotta keep pushing forwards. And it looks like the only reinforcement point is going to be over here. Look, see him moving. Boy, this better be worth me while. Hmm. Okay, if we left the nail brains behind, we could have just busted through that uh, wall there. At least that's the only way to get through that. Hmm. Where can we lure this thing out? Let's see. Breakfast. Can you toss this over? Yes, you can. Is that enough to lure it out? Yes, it is. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Zog the lot. The best way, you dumbasses. There we go. Okay, this is a good way. To, this is a good ability to just get targets off of you, I'm presuming. Okay, you love move that way then. These two will finish these. Hmm. <laughs> it's a very uh a very um, gassy orc. <laughs> very gassy orc. <laughs> I, I think moving the camera actually makes it worse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, here we can re uh, reinforce. But first... And he gets a level as well. Nail, nail brains can't shoot for shit unless it has metal in it. Okay. Grab that. Reinforce these idiots. Okay. Yeah, we should probably go for Lutas mostly since we're going to be in a defensive position. Okay. We already found one of those extensions. So we can get a good amount of them. Okay. And they've got more they've got more damage from spookums not being here. Hmm. I don't know where 
I don't know if it goes past 60. At that point, it probably would be a, a bit too many units at, on the screen at once. It goes Since, well, past they're paying 60. up here. I think you mean 60. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it goes past 60 because, as you can see, each of the units here has a symbol here. I, maybe it'll, maybe it'll, it'll add a slider or so that we can go lower. That will tell. Time it will tell. Shoot a most bigger at your service. Okay. Get over there. We send some of the rocket boys to destroy the battle. No, we have only one rocket boy at the moment. Oh. Well, <laughs> have fun, breakfast. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> apparently he has brick face as well. Okay, you lot keep pushing. Oh, Neil Brains is almost... Never mind. This Oak Faction we're playing has makes sense for... Other Oak Factions don't like the Freebooters. I could never guess why, huh? What? There wasn't supposed to be any fighting while we was looting. The trucks are almost here. Ready them suitors, boys. Boss smash face says we need to keep this way clear for them. Okay. Yeah, we get some time before an amb before, before they start arriving. What did we just to slow down? Yeah, there's one more. Okay, place turrets at bottlenecks. Yeah, place turrets in bottlenecks, I'd say. Or actually, they could go. They could come from here as well. So that way, they should have line of sights either way, ish. Okay, get your lasers. Okay, uh, you capture that. Where's the other br the bridge? Get moving. The other bridge is over here. Do I have to get past this thing for actually? Just jump. Okay, what go, just go, happened go, there? <laughs> okay, give that a smack. Breakfast. What are you lots of doing here? What do you just do with me? Bloody murder. Okay, breakfast is having more a brick brain moments. Leave that and move. Okay. Go stealthy, you idiots. Oh, it's I, not L. Um, boss, they destroyed those shiny bridges you liked. What? Oh, you spread that be lying to me, boy, and you spread me dead before I get there, because I don't like being lied to. No out of me way. <laughs> Looks like I gotta do all the work myself. And when I'm done fighting, you all get in your faces smashed. Here we go, boys. This is where he said the fighting was. <laughs> okay, it does get higher. This is Can you feel it, boys? Oh dear. Okay. Get the beam. Okay. Yeah, now we just gotta destroy enough of those trucks. <laughs> yes, they, of course they would keep score. Okay. 
Uh, walls for... Okay, let's get another... God, force. Hmm. Actually, move back. Move in a bit. So the other boys can shoot as well. <laughs> yeah, let's force them into the show point. And of course, it's going to be impatient. Oh. That's one done. From the looks of it, we'll need to destroy four more about. Okay, we can... That's three points from hmm. We can only leave two. Ooh. Or let's... Two. Or get more up there. Yep. And that's three of them destroyed already. Got a job yep. for us. And if that loot... That's the way. Be some good these have a really wide firing arc. Uh, let's see. Should probably move you a bit right. so that gets covered. I don't think they can squeeze a truck through there. Still want to be sure. Also, you, have all the moving, you, sort of. you go capture this. But there's no yeah. loot things there. Yeah, and another capacity expander. Uh, extender. Capture that. Oh, hello. <laughs> of course. Okay, and then this is this is a, f a whole lot easier when you have actually anti-vehicle units. Everything is more. <laughs> of course, he headbutts it. Okay, more looters. And yeah. might, might as well get some normal boys. There. Yeah, use can go there. With some shooters. Suck. <laughs> suck up. <laughs> but then again, it's a grot. Of course they're going to suck up. Okay, here comes another wave. Nope. Wave with actual artillery. Blood flag, go give those a poke. Never mind that. <laughs> All of them are just trying to keep score and get bullshitting the rest, huh? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Probably should put you where you can actually, well, see. Oh, hello, that's a big one. Oh, it's Smash Face himself. Okay, don't mind if we smash your face then. Yep. So much for that. <laughs> he didn't even get to smash his face. We didn't go over from him. Yep. Nasty armor. Oh, and a weird boy. Okay, yeah. This is going a whole lot easier than I typically have with this. Probably because, well, we're on easy and, well, that I actually remember to upgrade these to anti-armor. Well, that ended with a bang. 
Okay. <laughs> Heavy scrap. Very loot uh, loots in this here bag. I'm not sure that is <laughs> not sure that counts as a bag. <laughs> okay, breakfast got a level, and we got some snazzy armor. <laughs> Ooh, it's all shiny. And more energy. Okay. Let's see what to go for. Real good chopper, knob squads as heavy infantry. Not enough. That actually, I think we know what we're going for. <laughs> First, watch this. You's gonna love me cuts. Okay. Breakfast. Let's see. Mm, heal, jump, it's the taunt. Now, I, th I think the best thing to do with most characters is to just go down uh, the offense lane for now. And let's see. Oh, it's, it's an expendable. Okay. Uh, donate to receive unique item. Beamy death gun, huge chopper, big shooter, or a power claw for blood flag, but he already has one. And let's get this. Okay. That should uh, keep our squads filled up a lot more. Now, let's see. Nailbrain already has his rocket launcher and an, a decent death gun. Breakfast uh, already has this. Spookums. Spookums would get a big shooter. Okay, would that be a, be a bigger... A bigger shotgun? Hmm. Would you say to give it to? I'm thinking Spookums at the moment. Yeah, I agree. They may need uh, some special weapon. Let's see. It costs 40 teeth to fire this here shooter when you count uh, the free. Uh, that's how many you know, teeth rattled out of me mouth when I did it anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a okay. bit different than a shotgun or such, but yeah, that should that should make him at least decent. We we haven't found any other armor, so that's a bit of a nuisance. Wait, we did find a new armor. Yeah, the snazzy armor, yes, here, but it requires level five. Oh, darn it! We're one level away. Yeah, more one and a half on most, except for nail brains. Okay. No, those are the others are only level three. Yeah, three and a half ish. Uh, Blood flag already has his own armor here, which is a bit better. Uh, oh yeah, on take melee oh. hit, increased damage. Okay, <laughs> definitely good for well a tank. <laughs> okay. I think we can still do this mission the time we have. Minus Ice Works. Brothers, we must give praise to Korn, for the construction of the Dark Portal is complete. Where Aragast's temple was sundered, we may once again freely coast the beings of a warp into reality. The portal radiates ruinous power. Celebrate as you witness the constructs of lesser beings tainted and laid to waste or Say, these sparky boys are just as hard as those poor space marines. Makes for a good testy stop for that Kairos git. <laughs> Let's see. Enemy structures, turrets, shrines, and other buildings are most vulnerable to explosives and area of effect weapons. Noise marines. <clears throat> Noise marines can disable their enemies' ranged weapons and knock back melee attackers with pulses of sonic energy. And Doom Blast. Chaos Heretics can self-detonate to suppress and damage nearby attackers. Destroy them at range whenever possible. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> and we can get an Orc Storm Boys Knob Leader. Or just a Knob Squad as upgrades here. Okay, this time... Hmm... He still has no armor, so he's real, still real vulnerable. He has only three armor natively, whereas the others have at least eight or <laughs> 92. And again, he is supposed to be 
sneaky, so he's supposed to be out of the fighting. Hmm. Yeah, they're gonna need a sniper rifle or something later. Yeah, if they can even, if orcs can even have something like that. Oh, they do. The commanders are only ones that use them. Okay. Yeah, let's let's try and play this, uh, play things a bit more safely with Spookums then. Keep them at a the distance. Okay, back to the front line with you. Let's see. Using cover. Cover is found near various objects and indicated by green and yellow dots on the ground. A bright green or yellow highlight around a squad's health bar indicates that it is in heavy or light cover. Okay, I didn't know that bit. And will take far less damage from ranged weapons. Cover it is serious. It's a, it's a good one. <laughs> Cover is directional. Shots from the same side of a piece of cover do full damage. Melee, explosives, flame, and poison attacks ignore cover. Larger units gain no benefit from cover. Okay. Right. My reaction is to do what they had done, put the portal on through. Yeah, just a big chunk of ice. Yeah, you gave me the Korok ice stairs for it. <laughs> Come to witness the glory of the Dark Portal! Draw near then, watch as the entropy of the warp claims and cripples flesh and steel! We shall savor your despair! What is it? Okay, these act as spawners again, so let's bust them down quickly. Oh, man, that was a self-detonation there, I'm pretty sure. Just missed it. Okay. Ooh. Wait. Resources. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need some extra units. It will be a silent assault. More says. More coming! Okay, they didn't warn about any special vehicles and such, but it would probably still be a good idea. Actually, Nail Brains is already anti-vehicle as it is at the moment. Yeah. Still having extras. More armored. Oh, okay. This allows Spookums to attack from a good range as well. Alright, then we compensate for it less damage and it is a bit more rapid fire weapon compared to the shotgun. Yeah. So it does compensate. They probably should have saved that for him. <laughs> and yeah, it's the noise marines with their uh, noise guns. <laughs> I was thought only re some recent months that the noise marines were a fan made uh, marine chapter. Nope. Like the angry marines. You lot pull back. How fast chaos in Oh we need to destroy that. Okay, camouflage, okay. Yeah, I should pay more attention to those little descriptors. Well that's why you have me. My laser eye, <laughs> chaos energy barrier. Okay. Hmm. Been annoying that the grenades are on such a low, you know, such a long hmm, recharge. But oh well. I guess that then it's a good thing that I brought some flame us or burn us. <laughs> so it looks like they're going to be late for their job. <laughs> okay, break fist, jump in. <laughs> stab the chaos, stab the noisy ones, will you? Yep. Never mind. <laughs> They're just dropping the base. Mm. 
Okay, where are you? You're on the map in the mess there. Thank you. All right, I forgot to check what his ability with this gun is. Uh, let's see. Shoot him good. Unleash a barrage of fire dealing damage. Blood flag. Deal with this first. Uh, dealing damage and knocking enemies to the ground. Okay, so a miniature assault barrage. Nice. Destroy the buildings, you idiots. Okay, get up there. Burn us, move forwards. Come on. And of course, they're getting noise suppressed. But you idiots have flamethrowers. Burn them out. Oh, they were set to melee combat still. <laughs> that explains. Okay, move along. The, the enemies are flying out of the bunker windows. Okay. Clear that out. And yeah, we... <laughs> We can get through the teleporter, but it's locked off. It, you? Can't get through here. Looks like the mission's hit a rough patch. Magnificent, is it not? We have succeeded where even the great old care could not. Come closer. Approach the portal. Gaze directly into the maw of the warp. If you are fortunate, your lives may be snuffed by its entropy rather than our blades. I like that the, for the most part, the orcs just don't give a damn about all of the boasting and such that's going on by the enemies. They just want to loot and get out. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, then. Heretics. Are good. Yeah, they're probably going to self-detonate, or... Well, they're not, going, they're not getting the time for it, at least. Uh, let's see, get a weird... Yep, not enough requisition. Mm. Weird boys are rather cheap. Well, cheap in requisition, at least. But that's... Well, they, because they have, like, they have like a 50-50 chance of detonating themselves. Okay. Keep pushing forwards. Someone capture that. <laughs> there we just keep pushing forwards. Take that. Well, hello. Is that a population increaser? Yep. yep. <laughs> Rest of you, get rid of these. Yeah, that, they, this is where the burners show their true worth. Also, uh, go give them a light. It's, it's a whole lot more effective when they're garrisoned up. <laughs> All tightly packed. Stop dropping the meat again. Really? They, they put a barrier over a single box? Hmm. Can't get some reinforcement? Okay. Push this way. Also destroy these. Everyone move that way. 
This this over here. Ah, uh, it's a head. Okay, that's a headquarters. Okay. Yeah, we can grab that and get some reinforcement. Come on. Okay. Yeah, that's a bunch more bombs than before, huh? It, and I guess that confirms that they will hit our units as well. Which, well, it's the Orky way. <laughs> There's no fire like friendly fire among the orcs. We still find Hilly out of this, and. Wait, that's. Noise Marine or Slanesca Marines? Yep. Well, I guess uh, Slanesh finally gets some representation uh, in one game here. Yep. Yep. Let's break this down. Get in melee, you idiots! Yep. And there's the reinforcements that he can bring in now. Okay, pick him up. Ooh, uh, I don't think you're going to... <laughs> I don't think you can heat up that can. It, it does, there's a bug in my room, apparently. Is it big? No, it's just an annoying one. Okay. Go open that can. Oop, we want to get rid of them quickly. Burn us, focus that. Okay, you are the normal shooters. Uh, Worshipping gives you the speed and damp. Okay, yeah, get rid of those. Hmm. Empty those out. Welcome to where are you? Yep, you're over here all the way. <laughs> get moving, you lot. Okay. Hmm. Don't think we lost anyone there. Move forwards. Got it. Okay. <laughs> and let's get our first vehicle. Actually, let's get two. <laughs> Move out first, Max. Move out of the way. Uh, we should get some loot as well. Demons of Corn, come forth! A beast of skulls and blood awaits you! Okay. I'm hoping this will do extra damage against buildings as well. Well, the new quest, uh, the summon shrines. Okay, blood letters, summon shrines. Yep. Yep. One north and one on the other path. Is that too far? Reinforce. There's a lot of damage going around. Okay. Lobos are destroyed it, so it's probably going to be tricky to do the trines. Uh, where's our sack? Did our second can not get made or did it get destroyed? So it's not over. Nope. 
And apparently I had missed, <laughs> I had missed, you know, have gotten my timer wrong because it went off 10 minutes early now. Oh dear. Well, I guess we can still shoot the Spoon Shrines. Yep, if we want to. Don't think we can get anything for it. You know, you pull back for a moment. Hopefully some new. That go go repair. Repair. From heaven. Ooh. Spooken is in trouble. Oh yeah, we got a lot of attention from messing up near portal, huh? Yeah, never taste. Let's see what it actually does. Okay, I, it's just rapid fire at whoever is unlucky enough to be there. Okay, deal with the noise complaints and get ourselves another one of these. Now, I think we might have lost one of them. Yeah, def yeah, there's no number five, or there was no number five, so we definitely lost one of them. Okay. Okay, where's the burners? There's the burners, you focus that one. Yep. <laughs> Break that suppression. One of our turrets is getting shot up. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah, let's just clear out what's near us at least, and then we go after those shrines. Maybe we get something for it, maybe not. Uh, oh, there's another. Okay, get rid of those. Away from the shrines at the moment. Yep. Oh, what are these stupid things? Yep. Okay, so now we finally have a confirmation that they are vulnerable again, or at least that they're vulnerable to anti vehicle here. <laughs> because that went down a lot easier than their pre predecessors. And we lost, yeah, we, well, we lost a bunch there. But it does look like we do get refunded for, uh, for all of that. So, yeah, the only thing that you're actually really spending resources on then is uh, revives and upgrades. Speaking of... All of you get damage up. Not all of you, at least. It means less boys on the field, but, well, it makes these a bunch stronger. <laughs> Nail brains, focus down these. Deep. Yep, never mind, they're done already. Okay, pull back a bit. Excellent. And Fini. Let's see, we've already captured these. Oh. Okay. Let's see if we can get anything out of this. Hmm. Yep. Nail brains. Okay, these upgrades are pretty pricey, though, as you can see. But I guess you could consider them more an investment than an expenditure. Hmm. Yeah, I do like that the game lets you lets you decide if you're going to focus on your heroes or if you're going to, well, go for just a swarm. <laughs> okay. 
Well, if nothing else, we'll get experience from this. Well, yeah, that actually makes it worth it, Benz. We do need experience. Spookens. Yep, it's already broken. So no need for grenades. <laughs> Okay. All of you move in here. Let me re-tag these so I don't have to stretch my hand across the entire keyboard. Yeah. Spook comes new with these idiots, will you? Yeah. Destroy the building as well. It seems that there's something with the AI that makes them ignore the buildings. Ooh, we almost received food wog. Yeah. Okay. Now, what you're smashing next is over here, so get to it. I'll Take grab that. Did he throw those out on his own? Okay. Maybe. Okay. Yep. Deal with some demons. Uh, let's see. Anyone we can bring in? Hmm. The cans are going down pretty quickly. Maybe. What? Some let's ways? get some lootas. Yeah, I keep fast ring ring. <laughs> <laughs> there, get the destroying that. And give me that. What is that? Goth orc armor. Okay. Goth? They, they just one of the big tribes. The yellow uh, armored ones, I think. Yep. Not, not sure about the armor color, but they are one of the bigger groups, you know, one of the bigger clans, yeah. I can watch from the old minis again to refresh. So I know easily, like blood axes. And all that, but uh, yeah, some are. Uh, well, this one is which by color, but by color armor. Although it's easy. Ops, ops. Okay, no need to go there. It's a dead end. Are do, do, those the ones with dark armor or. Gold, uh, yellow armor. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds more like the merchants and what type. I forget their name, but. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, the yellow is, uh, if I remember right, uh, bigger broom or something. Okay, I'll refresh myself on this. Okay. Yeah, I think we are getting requisition back from when an orc die, from when a, a side squad dies. Hmm. We could we kill the dreadnought and noise marines. Okay. <laughs> we can put an end to their heavy metal concerts. Hmm. There is something about noise marines that uh, originally they were depicted with guitars and such, but that was uh, in the first edition or such, uh, when things were still, well, even sillier than they are already now. But I have heard that there is supposed to be an anniversary release coming up or something, or maybe it already happened, where they re-released... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, where they re-released some uh, old-school <clears throat> noise marine uh, figurines or models, whichever word would be. They, they did that. Can... We're doing one of the Christmas uh, times, <laughs> but they released the uh, well, old version of Jingle Bells. <laughs> and there's more a new model of Pace than the old one. Yeah. 
Okay, but it, it is... It, it just remains a funny image. Just a bunch of heavily armored space marines rocking out on guitars. <laughs> well, Otto appears in the music video with the guitar and all. I think I sent you that video a um, while back. Could be. During, I thought it was, I thought it was, uh, it was during our first year streaming together or not. Okay, go there we go. All the way. The fraud. What we smash her next? Daddy's trashed. All right. Nope. Only one minute overtime. Would have gorked. <laughs> Bring down the mighty foot of the Ord God Gork to stomp on enemies, stunning and damaging all units in its path. Let me see if in sync again. <laughs> and all new loots. Okay, no level fives. Trophy rack. Terrifies nearby enemies, reducing their damage. Look at all them heads with. Yeah, yeah. And Ooh. golf. Yeah, the golf arc McCormer. Uh, for the golfs, everything is hit or be hit. Anything else is mocking about. <laughs> okay. No. Let's see the armor. Uh, uh, we nail plates and bits to any part of the wagon that ain't already got stuff nailed to it. But Macboy Gibbons was the was a clever one. He thinks that no matter how much Daka gets woven, uh, gets woven at its project, the part that's got to stay working uh, the most is the front end. Okay, let's get some knobs in here. Looks like the teleporter dropped us onto Yumi's capital. Uh, make that capital planet. <laughs> yes! As long as I've bummed around this sector, I've wanted to mash this big Yumi camp. When the buggies and the spiky boys came through, I was worried I wouldn't get the chance. Eh? You got an <laughs> optional one again? Yeah. Also, there was a bit of a pun there. Capital, and then capital, which, well, which was capitalized. Uh. Okay, and, yep, yeah, we do have co-op, it seems. So, oh, yeah. boy. Okay, I'll, I'll see when this game goes on sale, and I might, if you want, I could send you a copy then, but just for well, on the side messing about, or maybe even... Uh, Go co op to one of the campaigns? Okay. I, I told you, I'm not poor. And also, I also told you that I don't know how it works when you send games to me. Uh, yeah, it should just give the option to accept it or reject it. Uh, don't actually know what happens when someone rejects a gifted game. <laughs> Either way, though, that'll be it for, well, Retribution today. So, let's move on over here. And before we end, we go look for someone to raid. Okay, so... We have <laughs> Okay, let me change the screen share over as well. We'll have to close off this. There, change window. Uh, Twitch live, there we go, so you can see. Now, let's have a look. We have Shanker Crab, who is playing Pokemon Red, uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green. Nico Sofrado, who is doing art. I'm nice with Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Jimmy McGinney with Cross Codes. Ramya with Fallout 76. Chowers the Moon Seal with Lies of Pi again. I'm a flanker with Crusader Kings 3. <clears throat> Graham the Wolf is playing in VR chat, it seems. Let's see. Thursday night, Community Siege in Crusader Kings... Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, I had my mouse a bit too low there. Uh, let's see. Graham the Wolf. Local werewolves gives the fox a big scare session. What? Uh, Sloop Tube is also doing arts. Big V streams are playing Baldur's Gate 3. And last but not least, we have Halloween, who is playing Stalker Anomaly. Okay. Any of those that catch your fancy, or shall I pick? Uh, let you pick this time. 
Uh, let's see. Hmm. It's been a long as time since Shanker Crab has been on online recently. Uh, did we rate them somewhat recently or not? I forget. I... Hmm. Oh, I think we rated them last week. Uh, yeah, they're also they're also on their pre-stream. So let's see. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to fall back to raiding nice every other time. Uh, but she is, well, the nice option each time. But I'm tish. <laughs> oh, God. Um, avoiding Jimmy because crosscodes and possible spoilers because of that. Uh, let's go raid uh, Chubbers then. Been a bit, right. I think. So, copy the name. Our place. Slash raid and paste. But before we start with that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Pizza Lover, for lurking in chat there. And thank you, as always, Drake here. You're making us always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. And I will. Hmm? If, if the game goes on sale all free, I may buy them. So. Yeah, I guess I'll be keep an eye on them on the. Uh, Around Christmas time. <laughs> okay, and let's see. No stream tomorrow because we need we need some days to have a bloody rest. Yeah, it and, is a Friday after all. Yeah, and yeah, weekend stuff will be the usual with our side games. This time, the sexy brutale and enslaved Odyssey to the West, as well as Showcase Sunday. I'm still a bit undecided on what to do on Sunday evenings if we can't do LA Noir. So we might just put that as a, a chill stream or something with me playing, well, whatever, basically. <clears throat> yeah, like, hmm. I just, it's not a pretty different thing about ain't most point and click schemes rather chill? Uh, it depends. If you need to pixel hunt or apply moon logic, then it basically becomes a nightmare. <laughs> what the heck is a moon logic? Uh, moon logic is a term that's been coined for puzzles that make no goddamn sense. Like using a boot on something to open up a door somewhere else. Basically, things you would have to fi figure out just from, well, basically trying every little literally every freaking combination possible until something works but not because it makes sense but because it just plain does uh okay i learned something new <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm guessing you want to uh suggest we play the uh, indiana jones po point and clicks on sunday evening perhaps I'll be okay with it. We're all having a lot of game series as it is at the moment. Yeah. I did get them to work. <clears throat> Luckily enough. But yeah, we'll we'll see about that. I'm leaning towards uh, either chill stream or maybe even no stream on Sunday evenings then. Seeing as, well, we do, <clears throat> we do multiplayer streams on Monday now. Yep, and Wednesday, if possible. Yeah. But for now, yeah, we'll figure that out. And for the moment, let's get that raid started. Okay. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for undead seagulls. And, and the orcs. <laughs> and the orcs.